when people are about to buy a, a beautiful work of art, well, the most important thing is, uh, do we buy something that is genuine? The vetting committees always consist of people, of art historians, conservators, or restorers, if you wish, and scientists. The one very important thing that there is with judging if, if an object is what you think it is, it very simply, it is the eye. But there are things that we cannot see with the eye. And therefore, we need tools that go, well, that enhance the eye, if you wish. Uh, therefore, we use, for instance, like this technique, microscopy. We also use other techniques as elemental analysis. So is the silver, does it really have the content to what we think that it should be having or for what we know that it should be having? The same thing for bronzes. We know bronzes in which era that they were made, that they have to have certain, let's say, trace elements in the bronze. If they don't have it, then it's from a later period. So we can all correspond these things uh, from, let's say, the technical research to the art object. And then finally, what we have nowadays as well is UV and IR uh, reflectography for the paintings and uh, uh, X-radiography. One had to have an X-ray taken in the past, also from persons, and then it had to be, you know, uh, analyzed or actually had, the film had to be developed and then you could really look at it. The vetting committee really has to work very fast because there's a lot of works of art that, that have to be vetted. And as a result, we really know, need those answers very quickly. And with this DR system, direct radiography system, it is like a split second and you have the answer or actually the result of what you have. This bronze is really marvelous bronze. And what is really specific about the bronze is that there is a red patina on top of the bronze. And this red patina actually could mean two things. Either it was a green patina for which the green patina was taken off and always a red oxide layer stays behind, or it is an original red lacquer. So with our bare eyes, it's magnifying glasses or anything like that, you cannot see that. So you really need microscopy. In this case with the Hyrox and this uh, machine, and actually if I now look at the picture, when we saw this, then it was absolutely clear. This is a, an, an, an organic lacquer, which is on top of the bronze. And as a result, we know for certain that this is not something that has been, let's say, overcleaned and then repatinated or anything like that. No, 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 this has been pristinely, you know, preserved in the way that it should have been preserved. This is something where you say like, hey, wow, this is something that you rarely see. So what does it mean that you can buy objects here which are really of pristine quality? I can bring it to you very simply. What you buy here is good. <laughs>